Shalom Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, and I guess, uh, I, don't, I don't know when we're ever going to get enough of this. When is it ever going to stop? When's it going to slow down all this massive troop buildup by NATO on Russia's border? Uh, no wonder why they want to censor uh, alternative media. As I was being told by a friend of mine today in Israel, he said normally we're about at least 24 to 48 hours before mainstream media picks these things up. Of course, not in this case here. The Telegraph speaking about Britain to send hundreds more troops to Russian border as Cold War tend tension escalates across Europe. They're not the only ones bringing it out. You also have here the Duran. Britain advances towards Russia's borders, ready to deploy 800 troops, drones, tanks and, uh, to Estonia. Uh, and also we have here on the UK defense, again, picture of the uh, British uh, tank there headed towards Russia's border there. You know, and to give you an idea where Estonia is here, just to take a look here on our map right here on the screen here, this is a little tiny country of Estonia right here, and of course Russia's border runs right here. It wasn't too long ago, about eight months ago, that we shared with you from a friend of ours living there in Estonia that the U.S. had about a hundred tanks on the Navarre River. The Navarre River runs right there on the line itself in a very shallow place there. It's easy for tanks to even cross this river with, with very little, with little ease. But you got to remember, St. Petersburg is right here. And this is why there's such a massive buildup of troops there, uh, especially in Estonia, because the whole intention is to deliver a crushing blow to President Putin by trying to take St. Petersburg. Now, my concern is, is that Putin's not going to play games. He's not going to play church, as the old saying goes here. If they go to launch an attack on St. Petersburg, Putin may end, up be, may end up using tactical nukes or something like that to put a stop to any advancement on the Russian Federation. But nonetheless, not only do you have uh, St. Petersburg that's close to the border, you also have Moscow, which is also close to the European border. But it's luckily Belarus is there, but not so much with Latvia. So if there is an attack directly on Russia, it is looking more like a preemptive strike at this point than anything else, which is very much concerning. Uh, we already have all the fronts on Ukraine, but of course there is the self-proclaimed uh, uh, People's Republic inside of Ukraine uh, on the map right here, who have been, uh, they kind of put a buffer zone between Russia and the Ukrainian forces there, but also we've had uh, video footage we shared this later the, earlier this week too uh, in, in Slovakia, U.S. military equipment headed to Ukraine, uh, other military equipments uh, heading there from different directions. So there is a massive buildup on the border with Russia. And of course, Belarus is right there, tucked in the middle there, in, uh, just to the north of Ukraine, south of Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia. And Russia has been doing war games there with Belarus, also preparing because that little country always gets the blunt of every war, including World War II, where the famous movie uh, Defiance was uh, originates from the story there, and the largest massacre of Jews of the entire Holocaust era. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very troubling news to be hearing. So many troops. And by the way, uh, real quick before we close out on this broadcast, according to this here, uh, the, uh, the UK Defense Journal that published this article here, the 800 personnel to Estonia is with France and Denmark's contributing further troops. Uh, that's in addition to the 800. Uh, not to mention the tanks, even aircraft. Uh, Britain's uh, is looking at sending aircraft as well in this direction. So it, it's just stay. Is this is worse than a Cold War? I mean, the Cold War was nothing compared to what is happening now. How much longer will it be? This provocation. I I don't. I really still don't see Russia doing a first strike because dealing with NATO, knowing that it's such a massive uh, military to deal with. But I do recall those fateful words that Putin once said, if you know you're going in to be into a fight and the fight is inevitable, strike first. That's concerning. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.